Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Amazon MQ RabbitMQ broker in AWS using the AWS console. I have logged into my AWS account. Search for MQ here. Click Amazon MQ. Click get started. So we have two broker engine types available for us to select. So for this demo purpose, we are going to select RabbitMQ. Click next. Then we have uh, deployment modes available. One is a single instance broker. Another one is a cluster deployment. Okay. So single instance broker is one broker in one availability zone. So we'll go with this because this is just for the demo purpose. Then click next. Then we need to give a broker name. So I'm going to call it as demo broker. Okay. Then we are going to select the instance type, right? So this is just for the demo purpose. So I'm going to select the mq.t3.micro, which is eligible for the free tier. Then we need to give a username. So I'm going to give a username Kavita. Okay, let's give the password. So the password has to be 12 characters. Then click next. Okay, so let's review one configuration. So everything looks okay. So I'm going to click create broker and this is going to take 20 minutes. The broker has been successfully created. Let's review that. Okay, here we'll be able to find the specifications, the ARN, the broker status, what is the instance type, and the deployment mode, what is the broker engine, what is the engine version, right, when it was created. So all these information you'll be able to see here. Right. And here you will be able to see that information on the VPC subnet and other informations. OK. And here this is the endpoint. Right. And uh, this is the you will be able to access the RabbitMQ web console using this. So when you are coding it, this is the AMQ endpoint. We will be using it. OK. So click this link. Currently we are in the RabbitMQ management console. Let's log in. login okay we have successfully logged into the RabbitMQ management okay so he will be able to find more information so actually uh, in most cases right we'll be using the producer and the consumer program to send and receive messages since this is just for the demo purpose I am going to show right how to create queues and send some messages okay using this management tool right okay add a new queue so I am just going to create a test queue okay click add queue okay so we have successfully added one queue right test queue the state is running so click the queue okay so here we have an option for publish messages so what we are going to do is we are going to send the test message test message okay then click publish message okay so it says message published right so and I'm going to retrieve the message just by using the get messages here. Click get message. Okay, then click get messages. Okay, so we could see we have got the payload test message. Okay, and then if you wanted to delete the queue, you'll be able to delete it here. And if you want to push the messages, you'll be able to do it here. Okay, so let just let's delete the queue. Okay, click OK. Okay, so we created a queue and we have deleted a queue. Okay, so now what we will do is we will go to the uh, Amazon MQ and then we will see how to delete this broker. Okay, so click actions and then we have an option delete broker, click delete broker and then we need to give the broker name. So which is demo broker, we need to give that and then click delete. Okay, again the deletion is going to take about 5 minutes. The broker, the RabbitMQ broker has been successfully deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create and delete Amazon MQ RabbitMQ broker in AWS using AWS console. Also, we have seen how to access the RabbitMQ management console and create a queue and publish a message and get the message. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.